One of the biggest frustrations I've had with building out a cinema rig for the FX3 is where to properly mount a monitor in a way that didn't drive me completely bonkers and it just felt like everything was in the way all the time. And I finally figured it out and it was a $19 small rig part that solved this whole issue for me. So let's build it out and I'll show you what for me has been the perfect FX3 cinema rig. All right, up first is the half cage by small rig. Works really well, uh, lets me keep the top handle on without any issues and it does have a follow focus setup on the side so if I want to run you know vintage lenses do that sort of thing I can set that up really really quickly uh, works great all right now that that's set up we will put the top handle on and the extra accessories for that so one of the things that I consider an absolute must buy for the FX3 is this top handle extension kit by small rig um, it just beefs up the handle so it doesn't feel so flimsy and it adds a little bit of length to it so you can just hold it and it's not quite so delicate in the hand. Uh, I absolutely use this. So now with this on, it just becomes so much easier to grab and it gives me a little bit of length. And this piece is actually gonna come in really, really crucial when we figure out our monitor placing later on. Up next is the small rig base plate with dual 15 millimeter rod clamps. Uh, I have this already set up just so you don't have to watch me put all this together. I also have the small rig quick release uh, archetype clamp uh, installed on there along with the quick release plate which we will be using to attach the camera to our base plate. And because this is a quick release, like I said, just popping this on and off becomes really, really quick and very, very simple. Let's pop it on, lock, and I'm all set. Now, I love running V-mount batteries just because it's so easy to just have one big battery that powers the camera and the monitor all day long for one shoot. I don't have to worry about changing out batteries, anything like that. So for this, I'm gonna use the small rig. This is the V-mount uh, battery plate adapter along with an extension arm that attaches to the 15 millimeter rails. And we might as well throw a lens on there so it starts feeling like a real camera. Uh, I'm just gonna put on the 35 1.4 G Master lens. Love this lens. Uh, it breathes like a madman. And unfortunately, Sony hates firmware updates for some reason. So as of now, the FX3 does not have focus breathing compensa uh, compensation like the cheaper A7 IV, which makes complete sense if, no, it doesn't. Now for me, this is where things get exciting and kind of fun, and that is mounting the monitor. And here are a ton of reasons why this design kind of sucks with the top handle, um, because there's really no place to put it. You can put your monitor here, and then it's banging into this. You can't lay it flat if you're you know, holding your camera low, which is really annoying, or you have to like jack it way above the camera, and then you've got this stupid tall, it just looks like crap, I hate it, it's out of balance or you can put it on the back of this, but now you're kind of in the same boat where like the camera balance is really weird. You're trying to hold onto the handle and the monitor's in the way. It gets wildly annoying, but this is how I solved this whole problem. This is a very simple small rig rod clamp with a NATO rail. Now this usually is attached to like the side of a cage if you want to add a follow focus rod on there, but if you put it on top of this, guess what happens? By placing this rod clamp on top of the handle extension kit, I can now run a 15 millimeter rod right through there. And by doing that, I can now mount my monitor anywhere I want on this. I can clear it from the handle, I can put it over the top, I can move it wherever I want based on what I'm doing, and it's just so perfect. So for this, all I'm going to do is attach it to this Nitsi rod clamp with a monitor mount and then it slides right on. And this is a major reason why I love this setup. It's because if I want to, I can bring it in closer if I don't need, you know, to fold the monitor flat. And now the center of gravity is way closer to the body of the camera. It's not shifting or tilting out, anything like that. And if I want to, I can slide this out and if I need to, I can even run my monitor down low and position it however I want. It's a very versatile, very easy, uh, very fast to change type of setup. And like I said, this has completely made this rig come alive for me. And I honestly, I use this every single time. So to power my monitor, I just use this DTAP to locking DC cable uh, with the Atomos uh, fake battery. I forget what this is called now that I'm staring at it, but anyway, I just run this from the V-mount adapter into the monitor. 
And then for cable management, I just it's a company called Sprig. They make these little tiny things that screw in your quarter 20 mounts on the top of the V-mount adapter. So I just put one in there and then I run this cable right through the cable management on the top handle and then through this back. And now it's kind of out of the way. I can grab it and off to the races. Now I might as well add a mat box to this rig because clients love it and it looks huge and fancy and expensive where God forbid you just used a variable ND filter. So we're almost done. I'm just gonna add one more power cable uh, to this because it helps charge the battery throughout the day off of the V-mount. And again, with this setup, I only need this battery and one internal battery in the FX3 and I'm good for the whole day. So this is just a right angle USB to a right angle USB-C cable uh, coiled. Works great, uh, I can kind of tuck it out of the way and keeps the battery charged all day long. One thing I really like about this cable is that it will turn uh, green and kind of shine so that you know that it's actively charging the internal battery on the FX3. Oh, one thing I did forget to mention, um, whenever you mount something behind a camera that has these flip out <laughs> uh, LCD is that it can block it uh, like this. So one of the beauty about having these things on rails is that I can just loosen this back it up, flip the door out, and then move this back in quite close. Uh, that just, again, keeps the rig a little bit more compact. Everything feels kind of nice and tight, and everything's close to the center of gravity. So when I'm filming, I have this out, I can adjust it and still see the screen, no problem. But when I'm moving around, or if I'm changing locations, or if I just set the camera down, I always tuck this back in and I just fold it up against the side here. It's out of the way, it's not gonna get torn off, uh, and it's for the most part protected even though it's not up against the back of the camera. So there it is, that's for me, my perfect FX3 rig build out, especially with that solve for how to mount, mount the monitor in a way that isn't completely annoying.